Look, Felix, it's Tropicana Field. What's up, everybody? Welcome back. We're actually uh, sitting in a 475 Intrepid. This is a 2019. It's got four 425s on the back of it. As you see in the title, one of those motors has a problem. And, uh, well, I wanted to film this too because this is a sweet boat. So let's take a look at the boat. I'll show you what happened to the motor. Let's get started. So we'll start where I started the video. I was in the port side here on the, uh, sitting on the bed here. That's where you see those windows that were blurry in the background. I love the Intrepid style windows. Those are sweet. If you look, there's a bedroom basically on both sides of the middle of this. This is our walkway up to where you drive your helm in the back area of the boat here. We got the, another bedroom back here. You got your same windows. Basically just uh, the normal stuff you'd have. You got storage behind here, light switch. You have air and everything. And here, we got our bathroom to the port side right here. This thing is big. I mean, it's wide open here. And I'm standing, look at, I can almost, look, that's me standing all the way up, all the way flat. So this thing's really tall. So if you're tall, this boat's perfect. You also have the same kind of windows up front here. And all these are openable, which is sweet. They all got uh, nice stainless hinges, everything. So the plastic stuff you normally see. Everything on Intrepid is just basically like one level up. But you pay for that, obviously. This obviously turned into another bed here. You have more storage, you have TV. The bathroom here I like. Bull sink, but it's recessed, still wins. Tinted shower here. It's a full stand-up deal too, just like a normal shower. That's sweet. What's this? Oh, so you got access between the two, so you can go between this bedroom and in here, so that is cool. You can notice that. Get out of there. So we have everything. I mean even these these stainless style hinges, you just pick up on these boards. You got access to all your components. It's all nice and well done, well laid out. And all this stuff matches up perfectly. It fits nice. You got a big mirror. I'm gonna just notice something too. You got a bunch of lights right there. You got a window there on the top too that opens up. You got the two lights here. So this bedroom is a little bit smaller than this one. That's probably because this is where the council is right here, all that room that's taken up. You got a lot of electronics and stuff probably right over your head there where you stand. Well, another thing too is everything is nice and soft wood. I mean, look at the trepid and laid into it. It's really nice. Oh, well, I'm going for lunch. Oh, look at our breaker panel here. All blue sea stuff. Fisher Panda. Nice. Let's go upstairs here. Of course, this boat has air conditioning everywhere. But if you look, you drive way back, basically in the middle of this boat on the starboard side. So look at that view. You got that big giant bow in front of you there. It's pretty cool. They're not too bad to drive. I've driven a few of them and it seems like they'd be kind of tricky being in the middle, but you stand up here and you got lots of vision everywhere around you here. There's really nothing that's blocking you and you can enclose this whole thing. You can see there's our four motors. And that's the one right there. That's the culprit that'll show you what happened. Yeah, this thing's got Garmin's rigged on it here. And all of our switches. These are all light up switches. It's the newest of everything from 2019 basically. A joystick. These are Yamaha controls. You got the single right here. The bow thruster. And it's got some fancy uh, wiper controls here too. But look at this vent where the air conditioning comes out of is right here. That would be nice. It's getting hot out right now. I'm starting to sweat. I like too all this carbon fiber on the top here. Pretty cool. And this is all just seating. I mean, this is huge. It's got like these rounded pad seating style here. Definitely comfortable in both corners. Let me show you something too underneath the stairwell. The way they build this boat, it just shows you how well they're built. I'll go underneath here. So basically that stairway picks up and you can go down in the hole. 
I mean, look, look, this is all intrepid wiring. Nice and perfect. Look down here, that's a muffler for the Fisher Panda. We got an air conditioner unit here. I mean, this is a big space. We can work in here. We got two battery chargers right here. I mean, all of our components are really well laid out where you can actually access them. This thing even has a door for our Fisher Panda. This is a little bit tight, but if you look, it opens up above it too. So you got access right here, so you can do your oil and all that stuff, and then you also have access above it, so it doesn't make it too bad to work on. These are fuel filters right there. Pretty easy, but it covers it up. Helps with the noise too. Oh, look at that, we got our subs right here too. Oh, look, it has the uh, quiet muffler on it. And it goes to the Fisher Panda right there, so you got water out one and exhaust out the other, and it doesn't make all that crazy noise blowing out the side of the boat. All right, let's get out of this hole here. We have another subwoofer right there. So that's where our stairs were. That's where we just were in the boat here. That's where you drive. That's the port side. You come over here where our dive door is at. You look. You open this bad boy up. You got this giant ladder right here for your dive door. I mean, look at this giant barrel bolt they have. And everything is high end here. Big old cleats. You got more seating where I got my Yamaha stuff sitting. A nice little stairwell around the side of the boat here, up to the front. We'll walk the port side here. Take a look at the front. Look at this, though. this must be look at that gas. You even got a cover for your gas tank. You got a handrail. Hold on to to get past everything here. Sorry for my finger. Of course, you have radar, night vision, everything. Nice. The antenna straight up. It's a nice front end. All those zippers are for a cushion, so this thing basically just becomes a big giant cushion. I like how they putter coat all the rails too, it's nice. Let me jump off here and we'll show you uh, the outside view of the boat here. And I'll show you what happened to the motor. I don't know how well you can see it, but that water reflects really pretty off that blue color this boat is. It's kind of like a dark metallic blue. Here, I'll stand back so you can see. She's pretty. I always like Intrepid style for sure. Alright, let me jump back on here. Take a look at that starboard center engine. Here's a little view of the back of it. Is a beast. All right, so let's take a look. I'll explain what I think happened. I'm not sure exactly how it happened or why it happened, but we have a failure. If you look here, let me try to explain a little better. You can't really see it, but our timing belt's going to run inside here, and you have basically your gear here and your gear here where the timing belt runs around. Right in the middle, where I'm going to show you, there's a pulley, which is a tensioner that keeps tension on the timing belt to keep all that perfect when this thing's spinning. It wraps around the flywheel on one side, and it goes between both heads here. If you look closely, there's some of the belt right there, which shouldn't be loose and laying over here and damaged. You can see some more of it right here. Some of it right there sticking out. You can see this pulley should have a belt. You can see it in here or not. A little bit. That pulley should have the belt stuck to it pretty hard and tension on it, but it's broken. So a tensioner gave way, which released the timing belt. If this thing was running when that happened, it's an interference motor they call it, so that means the valves might have hit the pistons. So this could be very catastrophic at this point. We're gonna have to get it back to the shop so we can pull the covers all the way around off of it, pull this whole top piece off, and do some more inspections on it. Cause it might need a whole new power head. But I guess the other ones are fine. Obviously when we get it in, we can take a look at them. I guess these three other ones are running and the boat actually runs 40 miles an hour, something like that with those three motors only. So pretty impressive. So yeah, unfortunately, I can't do anything here with this because she's got to come apart. 
Well, you can't tell, I don't know if you can see it right here, but you can see that that flywheel got hot too. So I don't know if there was something leaking maybe, got water on it, things expand, you get heat up there. Could have been a number of possibilities, but it's definitely broken and uh, she's got to come apart. So let me know what you think of this sweet Intrepid. It's like you got a older Tierra behind me there. It's nice too. Sovereign or something like that. Nice. Anyway, let me know what you think in the comments. As always, I appreciate you watching, and I will see you next time. Later. There's a cool green old sailboat here. Love the old wood finish. And just on the next deck over, look at the green color on this one. I don't even know if you call that green. It's got red sails. That thing stands out. Heckla.